The man accused of killing a construction flagger Tuesday night in a drunk driving crash in Davidsonville is not getting out on bail and will not be going back to his home on King's Retreat Court in Davidsonville. In fact, 48-year-old Christopher Asher asked not to. The request to waive the bail review made by his defense attorney at a court hearing in the case Thursday afternoon in Glen Burnie. Two days after the victim, 56-year-old Lizeth Guzman, died of her injuries at the hospital. Asher's lawyer did not want to talk to 11 News about the decision or other details relayed to the judge today, including that Asher works as an investment advisor, has substance abuse issues, is married with two children, and that his wife says he can return and do his house arrest there. This is the same street where he's accused of mowing down and killing Ms. Guzman at 10, 10 p.m. on Tuesday. The same street where he was arrested and where he allegedly told police he started drinking at 4.30 that afternoon and the same place where police say he failed field sobriety tests. And according to police, a breathalyzer later showed that he was nearly twice the legal limit. Asher remains held without bail tonight on four criminal charges. Three of them are felonies, and if convicted on all four, he faces a maximum penalty of 21 years in prison. Reporting live from Glen Burnie tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL, TV 11 News.